This sweet, soft, gooey, pull apart bread made with balls of brioche dough, baked with a brown sugar sauce, and glazed with caramel is beyond belief. And one of the best ideas to have on your table this holiday season. Enjoy this recipe. Pour 100 grams or half a cup of milk in the bowl of a stand mixer. Add 200 grams, which is about 4 large eggs. Add 35 grams or a third of a cup of sugar and 100 grams or a third of a cup of sourdough starter at 50% hydration. To make this starter, combine 25 grams or one and three quarter tablespoons of water plus 25 grams or one tablespoon of sourdough starter and 50 grams or a third of a cup of flour and let the sourdough proof in a covered container for about eight hours. Use a dough whisk to mix the ingredients until the sourdough starter dissolves in the mix. Add 500 grams or three three quarter cups of bread flour. First, add half of the flour to the bowl. Use the hook attachment to start mixing the dough at low speed. Then add the rest of the flour and keep kneading the dough until the dough is well incorporated. Add 200 grams or three quarter cups of butter at room temperature, cut in pieces. Add one piece of butter at a time. Add 10 grams or one and three quarter teaspoons of salt. Keep kneading the dough for about 30 minutes or until the dough is soft and elastic and pulls off the walls of the bowl. When the dough is ready, take it out of the bowl and place it in a grease proofing container. Cover the container and place it in the fridge to proof overnight. Next morning, get the dough out of the fridge, place it on a pastry mat and stretch and fold it to create a ball of dough. Divide the dough in 30 to 40 equal pieces. You can use a food scale to obtain equal sized pieces. Make balls with the pieces of dough. Cup them with a mixture of sugar with ground cinnamon and place them in a bond pan. Cover the bone pan with a plastic grab or a plastic lid and let the dough proof in a warm place for about 6 to 8 hours or until the dough reaches the rim of the pan. It only took 6 hours in my dough proofer at a constant temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. Make a glaze for your bread. Combine 70 grams or 5 eighths of a cup of melted butter with 120 grams or 2 third cups of brown sugar. Mix well with a whisk until the ingredients are well combined and pour all of the glaze on top of the dough of your monkey bread. Place the bread in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes or until your bread is golden brown. In the meantime, make a caramel sauce. Place in a hot saucepan 135 grams or 3 quarter cups of sugar and 100 grams or half a cup of water. Mix the ingredients well with a spatula and let simmer until you get a rich caramel color. Add 70 grams 
or 5 eighths of a cup of butter and 120 grams or half a cup of heavy cream. Mix well with a spatula until it is well incorporated and remove the saucepan from the heat. When your bread is ready, take it out of the oven and place it face down on a serving platter and let it cool off for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the bun pan and enjoy the view of the incredible delicious monkey bread. In the end, pour the caramel on top of the bread, all around the whole surface of the bread, and enjoy this delicious, sticky bread. This bread is so delicious that even your kids will love to eat. In fact, your whole family will love it and will fight for a piece. Enjoy. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week. Thank you for watching.